everyone, we are going to continue with our lovely science block where we're exploring looking at plants and today we're going to be looking at identifying and naming some trees. So let's just have a little recap and a little look back at what we were learning about yesterday. So have a look and on the screen you can see I've got four pictures up in front of you. Okay, I just want you to have a little think about what are the names of these plants, so can you identify them? And what do you know about these plants? So what do you know that these plants have? So pause this video and just have a little think about that now for me. OK, so I'm going to go through and recap some of the things that I remember that we looked at yesterday. Let me just get my highlighter pen up. Here we go. So this plant here. So I know that this is a cherry tree. OK, so this plant is a cherry tree and I know that because it has branches, it has flowers that blossom and then grow into fruit, which are cherries. And also the tree has a trunk and it has roots as well and some leaves. So well done if you've got that at home. Here, the next plant that I'm highlighting on the screen, this is a daffodil plant. OK, and I remember that a daffodil plant grows from a bulb, so it doesn't grow from a seed, it grows from a bulb and that it has stems and long, thin leaves that we explored, didn't we? We said they're a bit different to some of the other leaves we'd seen. Also has a really beautiful flower in different shades of yellow and the flower has six petals around the outside and a trumpet shaped flower in the middle. And we also learned that they start to grow around early spring. So soon, once the snow clears and the frost clears, we might start seeing these shooting up out of the ground. My other plant here that I'm highlighting is a rose plant. And I remember that a rose plant grows from seeds and it has stems and on the stems are some thorns, which are really sharp. Remember we said when we touch them, that they hurt and it's told to stop predators going and trying to eat it or trying to attack it. And our rose plant also has flowers and it has leaves. And the last plant up here on the screen is a strawberry plant, which is my favourite because the fruit that grows on it are really nice juicy strawberries. And we can see here in this picture that they start off with flowers, then the flowers turn to fruit. And then we said they needed lots and lots of sunlight to get that red colour, OK, to ripen the fruit. And they grow out of the soil, out of seeds, and they have leaves on them as well. <clears throat> so well done if you can remember all the names of the four plants that we learned last week. So like I said before, we're going to start now exploring some different trees, OK? So there's lots and lots of different trees around us. We're going to focus on three different types today. So the first one is an oak tree. Can you say that? Well done. So oak trees are very famous for being really tall, grand trees, okay? And they live for many, many, many years. They have really wide trunks just down here at the bottom. They grow really tall. And you might see lots of oak trees when you're about on your walk. And oak trees are deciduous, so that means that each year their leaves fall off, okay? So just like when we've learned in about autumn and winter, when the leaves start to change colour, then they fall off and die, okay? So an oak tree is this type of tree, it's a deciduous tree, so it does lose its leaves every year. And I've got a picture up here of the leaves that are on an oak tree. And you can see round by the edges that they are very curved and very smooth, okay? So oak trees have very specific individual looking leaves. So this is how we, one way that we can identify them. And also they grow fruits on the trees and these are called acorns, okay? And you might have seen these acorns and you might have seen squirrels have them and going off and burrowing with them in their hands, okay? So this is something that the animals go and eat off the trees and they get to eat them as food for themselves and for their young and they also bury them so that they can eat them when it's in the cold months. So that is an oak tree. We've also got fir trees. Can you say fir trees? Now, you might have recognised fir trees, particularly from Christmas and the, Christmas trees are a type of fir tree, okay? 
Now, some of the fir trees have got cones on them, pine cones, okay, which are these brown objects here. Sometimes they're long, sometimes they're short and wide. Okay, there's different types of pine cones. And if they have pine cones on them, then they're called conifers. Okay, but fir trees, all of them are evergreen trees. And this means that their leaves, okay, remain or stay green all year round. So they're different to oak trees. Their leaves don't fall off. Okay, and they don't change colour, they stay green throughout all the seasons. So even in autumn, even in winter, they stay green. And if you look very closely at this picture here that I'm highlighting now, the leaves look a little bit like needles and we call them needles, okay? And some of them can be quite sharp and pointy, but um, they don't ever fall off unless they're dying. And the last one I want us to have a little look at are holly bushes. And these are lovely in winter, okay, because they make a very colourful addition to a winter garden, especially when everything else has died and there's nothing left on the plants. So holly bushes are another evergreen plant um, and that's because they remain green, their leaves remain green all year round, okay. They don't all have fruit on them all year round, however their leaves are green all year round. Um, and their leaves themselves, if you look very closely, are very sharp and very spiky. So if you touch them, it's going to hurt. And the reason for this is that there are some lovely, juicy red berries on these plants. Now, they look very appetizing, very appealing to birds only, though, I'm afraid. So humans, cats and dogs cannot eat these berries because they are toxic. That means if we ate them, they would make us very poorly. So just the birds get to eat these berries on the holly bushes. But that's why the leaves are very spiky, because it's trying to deter, it's trying to put the birds off going and eating the berries, OK? So hopefully they don't want to eat them when they see them because it will hurt them. So let's have a little recap then. So I've got a couple of pictures, a few pictures down here at the bottom. And some of these are going to be holly bushes, some of them are going to be fir trees, and some of them are going to be oak trees. What I want you to do now is just pause this video and just spend a couple of seconds trying to sort them out and put them into the correct group. So which ones are holly bushes, which ones are fir trees, and which ones are oak trees. So pause it now and just have a little bit of a chat. Okay, hopefully you've paused it and you've unpaused it. We're going to have a little go at working this out together. So I'm going to have a look at this picture first. Well, in this picture, this plant has got some red berries on it and off the stems, there are sharp, spiky leaves. So I know that that is a holly bush. So well done if you got that correct. This plant here, hmm. It's got green needles on it, so they're not those curved leaves, they're more like needles, so that has to be a fir tree. This leaf though, looking here, has got curved edges and they're very smooth, so I know that's an oak tree. Let's have a look at this picture here. Hmm. So I can see this has got needles on it as well. Uh, it looks like an evergreen, so I'm going to say that's a fir tree. Here, this picture has got the curved leaves on it, but it's also got the acorns, that fruit that we know grows on an oak tree. So well done if you got that correct. This one has got pine cones on it, so that's going to be a fir tree. This one has got the berries on it, just like we said the holly bushes do. And here, I've got a very large oak tree. There we go. So well done if you've managed to sort those at home and had a bit of a discussion about the different features of these plants. So today I want you to have a go at writing a bit of a description about these plants. We've got three different plants and I want you to write a description for each of them. So let's have a little look at this picture and let's have a think which plant is it? So I'm going to look at the plant and I'm going to identify the features that it's got. So I can see that this plant has got 
green leaves and it's got the leaves are very sharp and pointy around the edges and there are red berries on the plant hmm which plant was that was that fir trees oak trees or holly bushes hmm it was holly bushes wasn't it so on my word map here look i've got holly okay so this is how we write the word holly for our holly bushes so now i want us to think what can we say what features does this holly bush have so i can say holly bushes have hmm red berries let's say that holly bushes have red berries so i'm going to use the word holly off my word mat and a capital letter at the start of my sentence so holly holly bushes b o sh it's bushes b o sh so e and an s if it's plural remember holly bushes have red red, red berries b e r e s berries now, remember, the singular of berry has a Y at the end. So if we're making it plural, we change that Y to an I-E-S. So B, E, R, and then I-E-S. So holly bushes have red berries. I'm also going to talk about their green leaves. Hmm. So we said the green leaves have spikes on them so that the to stop the plant or to, hmm, to deter the predators, yeah, to stop the predators coming and getting them. So the plants have spiky leaves to stop predators from eating the berries. Can anyone remember what else we said about these plants and these bushes? So we said that they were evergreen plants. Evergreen. What does that mean? I remember that the, the leaves always stay green no matter what time of year it is and they don't fall off. Okay? So we can say holly bushes are evergreen plants, which means that the leaves are always green, no matter which season it is. Fabulous. Oh. We get rid of those lines and then we can check it. Superb. So let's have a little look at what I've written. So I've said, holly bushes have red berries. The plants have spiky leaves to stop predators from eating them. Holly bushes are evergreen plants, which means that the leaves are always green no matter which season it is. Fabulous. So that sums up what my holly bush is. So your job today is, I have got three images on the board. Here I've got number one, number two and number three okay and i've got some words underneath which you might want to use i've got holly oak tree and fir tree what i want you to do is write me the number one and then write me a description so tell me what the plant is and tell me what you know about it write me the number two tell me what the plant's called and write me a description about it just like we've done here so we've told me what the plant's called and then written a little description I want you to have a go at doing that for me for each of these three pictures of these different plants, okay? Now, you can send this through to me if you'd like me to have a little look. But it's, this isn't the piece of work that I'll be asking you that you must submit this week, but I'm more than happy to have a little look because I know lots of you yesterday sent me some fabulous work across on this. So spend some time exploring these pictures Pause the screen now and have a little think what these different features are of these different plants and let me know how you get on with it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.